Hey crafty friends, this is Aina Kessler. Thank you very much for joining me to Saturday Extravaganza and today I'm creating a no sew fabric mini album. So I cut here three pieces of uh, cotton fabric. You can use uh, unprepped canvas, you can use cheesecloth, you can use any type of uh, uh, flexible thin fabric. Uh, you can cut it in whatever size you want. To tell you the truth, I haven't even measured it. Let me measure it right now. Uh, it's about 11 inches by 6 inches. So what I'm going to do now is cover the fabric with gesso. Because if we are going to put all kinds of stuff on, on the fabric, we need to prep it. And basically when you work on a canvas with a frame, uh, what you have there is fabric that is prepped by gesso. So what we're doing here is exactly the same thing, only we're going to create a mini album instead of um, adding a frame and creating a canvas that you can hang on the wall. So that's basically the same uh, prepping procedure that uh, you, you do for a canvas with a frame. So for the white fabric I'm using clear gesso because I want to keep the fabric white, sort of um, beige white, not a very bright white. Uh, and of course once you are finished covering your fabric with the gesso, dry it thoroughly with your heat tool or just leave it until it's dry. For the brown fabric I'm going to use white gesso because I don't want to use the brown color, I want everything to be white. So I'm just going to cover this with my brush. I'm using a foam brush that is much easier than a bristle brush. It gives me very good coverage and for this purpose, for me, it's easier to use the foam brush. So I'm doing all the sides, the, f the only one side and after it's dry I'm going to turn over all the fabrics and do the other side. So this is how they all look after they were prepped. You will be able to feel that they're a little bit uh, stiffer because the gesso makes them a little bit harder. And this is what we want because this will help us to add all the stuff that we want on our mini album. So I'm folding them in half to create my pages and now I can start embellishing my mini album. So first I want to create a stencil for a toilet uh, roll paper. So I'm just tracing the toilet paper roll on a piece of paper and cutting out the circle. You're gonna see in a second why I'm doing that. So basically we have created a small stencil and now we have a sort of a set. So what I'm going to use for embellishing and adding pattern and color for the mini album is ink. It's actually Ann Butler's ink and it's a permanent ink once you heat set it so it's really cool. And I'm also going to use some a black pen, acrylic paint and so on. So I have here a stamp and I want to stamp it within inside the circle because I want it to be in a circular shape. So this is basically an acrylic stamp, just a plain square. It has no other pattern and you can see now this is a way to create a circle with a stamp. So I'm just going to add another circle. and this one is going to be a little bit lighter and I'm going to take some black acrylic paint and use my toilet paper roll as a stamp and stamp around the circle that I have created this now you know why I wanted them to be the stencil the same size as my toilet paper roll with an old plastic card I can add some stripes straight stripes and with my really cool brushes these are Martha Stewart brushes. I've already used them in another video. Their hair is arranged uh, in a very cool way that you can create stripes. So I'm just going to 
do that and basically I'm gonna add some pattern to the circles with a little bit of purple ink and a checkerboard stamp and I'm gonna use this white paper so I will not stamp the entire page just the edges and I just want a random pattern here and there so I'm just I'm not using I'm not even using an acrylic block so I'm gonna take a little bit of ink on my surface my craft sheet and spritz a little bit of water and with another foam brush just paint over the fabric uh, and this is one of the reason that we added the gesso because if we would leave the fabric unprepped with gesso it will absorb all the paint it will be virtually impossible to paint it but once it's covered with gesso it's basically sealed so the paint stays on the surface and is not absorbed on the into the fabric so I finished that page and I'm just adding some color to my second page letting that dry and I'm going to add color to my third page and I'm working on one side of all the pages and then I'm going to flip them and do all the other sides because they need to be thoroughly dry before I continue to the other side so adding some color and now I can go back to the first one add a little bit more color and since it's going to be folded I'm basically working on two pages at the same time this is going to be a spread now I have here some letter stamps because I want to stamp some words in my mini album I'm going to spell different kinds of words and I will start with bloom and I have to do this in stages because I need two O's and I have one so and I'll show you also how to add big words to small spaces so what I'm doing here is adding a word and not not in a straight way so these are the first two letters and then you'll see how to add a very long word like bloom into a very small space that I have so I'm adding the first O and now the twist we are going to move to the right because nobody said that words need to be straight so this is how this is one way that you can I'll show you other ways in other words but this is one way that you can really add a very long word to a very small space going back to my fabulous brushes this is a very thin bristle brush that I really like it uh, it can create very 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 thin lines and this will be great for the flower here that I'm creating again this is a ac black acrylic paint want to add some more texture with some stamping basically creating a nice mini album page and also adding some more circular stamping with my toilet paper roll and some purple ink and I really like this technique with the old plastic card credit card whatever that's why when I when my cards are expired I never throw them away I just use them in my art I added some uh, alcohol ink and to finish my page I'm going to add a little brown uh, ink around the edges just to give it more definition two shades of brown one is slightly darker than the other so the first page is done I'm gonna leave it 
to dry and start on the second page. I want to add the word laugh. So this is another way to, again, add kind of a long word to a smaller space. And what I'm going to do is overlap the letters. So it, they will all fit in the space that I have. So I'm going to add all the letters. So when you stamp on fabric, make sure to use ink that is suitable for fabric. For example, distress ink would not work. Um, I'm not going to wash the mini album, but still I need it to be slightly or more than slightly permanent. Um, so make sure that you use the appropriate ink that you can heat set and the, and that it will be permanent on your fabric. So I've added my three circles with acrylic paint and this is another brush from the set. You see how you can create parallel lines with this brush. It's really cool. Again, it's by Martha Stewart. I got it at Michael's some time ago. I don't even remember when. So I'm embellishing my page adding some uh, shapes with my plastic card. Previously I used a dauber to add little circles with the purple ink. Geometric circles mostly. A little bit of alcohol ink. I like how it spreads on the fabric. Now what I'm going to do here is reverse stenciling. What I'm doing basically is apply ink on the top of the stencil flipping it over and then just creating a pattern on the fabric just a little bit where I want it adding a little bit more circles I want this one to be very bold so you can you see that if I am not heat setting the ink it is not permanent and it mixes with the other colors that I'm applying so now I have black and teal together mostly black and I'm going to add some more teal on the top again with one of my brushes which I really like them have I said that already and this is my stencil just going to add it with my fingers so I'll have a little bit of teal on the black circle now once it's heat set it is dried this is um, stamping with the other side of the dauber um, so I have a little circle and you can find all kinds of objects that you can stamp with you don't necessarily need to work with uh, pre-made stamps so this is the third page I want to add some acrylic paint and so I want to create very crisp edges so I'm going to use this just white scrap of paper to create those very nice edges you see how straight they are you need to dry your acrylic paint of course when you work with it and I'm going to add some stamping toilet paper rolls can be very versatile you can create a lot of things with them and basically what I'm doing is using all of the um, same tools same patterns and same colors to create a uniform look for the mini album 
that means that each, pa each page is slightly different, but they all have basically the same theme of circles and lines, and they're all in the same colors of purple, teal, and black. So I'm just playing with all my tools and colors and creating a different look to each page. So this, I added the word love, and this is another way to add a long word just by uh, breaking the word into two uh, lines like this. I'm adding a little bit of alcohol ink and I'm going to add the circle inside and again stamp a pattern on the edges only so I'm using my trusty white plain paper there to protect the other parts of the fabric where I don't want the stamp to be and this brush is so cool just adding lines patterns shapes And working on fabric is really cool and it's really fun and you will find out you will see that it's different than working on paper and it's even different than working on canvas but it's really fun I recommend you I really encourage you to try it because it's really it's fun okay so I'm going to work on the other side of the pages because we have finished all three and I see here that all the pattern from the other side is showing so I want to add another layer of white gesso just to cover cover the pattern and just having a fresh clean start so what I'm doing is just covering the other side of all three pages with some more gesso white gesso okay so this is the first side that we did and just gonna trim a little bit of threads here so we're gonna flip it over and work on the other side make sure that you are working on the correct side because you do have words and letters you don't want them to be upside down so basically we're going to continue with the same theme of the colors and the shapes and the patterns that we did on all three sides and I'm just adding some purple color as background to this page and what I'm gonna do is also add a little bit of teal and this is a great way to create paint from ink is by stamping your craft sheets and spritzing it with water and turning your ink to liquid and that is basically like paint so I'm adding the same color scheme to another page so I don't want to waste that paint that I already created so I'm just going to use it on another page now going back to the first page make sure it's dry and I'm going to spell the word create now because this is going to be the center page I can um, spell out that word across the entire page because it's going to be in the middle so no nothing is going to cover the word so I have no problem of uh, having the word across the length of the page so let's add the T and the E create and now we can add our circles and our patterns this is the black acrylic paint and I'm going to add smaller circles with the other side of the dauber the side that has no foam isn't that cute even a dauber can turn into a stamp see how easy it is to create a pattern with just very simple tools and just a little bit of paint this is our trusty stencil 
and I'm applying the ink with it dauber a little circle here and I want to add a little bit of paint and since I have not dried the acrylic paint it is mixing with the ink and this is exactly what I want but very gently so it will still be a little bit of black and a little bit of teal adding a little bit of purple and they all mix together and I really like how that looks just adding a little bit more color and a few more dots little dots it's so much fun playing with these brushes I'm telling you I'm in love with them I really really recommend you going to Michaels finding them and getting them because they are so much fun and they're so versatile and you can create so many looks that really it's so much fun so this page was done and we're going to the next page with my dauber I'm creating this pattern of circles and using my trusty brush again so much fun look at those parallel lines you don't need to measure anything and I really like how the paint is not exactly perfect really like that and the credit card when you f you turn your page so many times if you want to add a word make sure before you add it that your page is in the right direction otherwise you will have two words on each side and they're going to be upside down I'm just gonna use my stick here to add a little bit paint more paint and the square stamp to add a very colorful square and I'm gonna add some black ink as well on top of the square that I've just stamped and add things to my square colors and patterns and I'm gonna add the word fly gonna be very inspiring mini album with words that inspire you adding some more paint and basically you just keep on playing with all your the tools and the colors and add stuff to your pages you can keep on playing with that adding more and more things and patterns and of course you're not if you want to add other colors or use an entirely different color scheme you're more than welcome I'm just using a baby wipe here to smear the paint just a little tiny bit and adding that frame with the ink and we are ready for the last page I'm going to use the ink pad directly on the fabric and then I'm going to spread the ink with a baby wipe and look how cool that is basically I'm using the baby wipe like a brush to spread the ink and create the paint I love those circles adding a little bit of water some lines here and there now I'm sorry but the camera went off and what I did is spritz some water on the um, acrylic paint that I stamped with the toilet paper and look the cool effect that it made and I let it drip a little bit so I have now drippage on my page and I also wrote with some words with a black pen like so I want to just add a few circles and I also stamp the dauber again with the purple ink try to spritz the water when the 
acrylic paint is wet and you'll get that cool effect so basically I'm just going to add a little bit of white gesso here and there on this page maybe on other pages as well just for a little bit more color and I'm doing it with a baby wipe just a little bit of white here and there and we are going to attach to create to bind this mini album with glue there is not going to be any sewing here even though it's fabric I don't sew well basically I know how to sew but my sewing machine is broken and if I ever going to fix it uh, I will use it but as for now it is not fixed so we are going to bind this mini album with fabric tech which is an amazing glue uh, that bonds fabric and other stuff like leather and glass and wood and whatever so an amazing glue so I'm just going to apply a very thin line of glue in the center where I folded on the fold line and bind the mini album one page is smaller than the other two and this one is going to be in the middle and this is the outer page still wet so I'm refolding it to know where the fold line will be applying some glue here and this is going to go inside that outer page and it also dries in seconds and you will see amazing it binds everything very strong don't need a sewing machine and you have a fabric mini album isn't that cool you guys look at that this is our mini album look how beautiful it is Make sure you it's completely dry before you bind it or you'll get stuff moving around. So you can create a larger mini album of course. And it's the binding holds up perfectly and look at all those beautiful colors and patterns and words that we have. I really am in love with this mini album. I had so much fun doing this you guys I want to thank you very much for joining me and I hope I've inspired you to play with fabric and try to create your own mini album um, share with me don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you all next time